Hello! If you're watching this video, uh, it's probably because you are having trouble uploading your file to our FTP server here at the Dyna Playback Facility via a web browser. Um, if you have a slower connection, you will notice it takes a very long time to upload your program to our server via a web browser. So what we are going to do uh, in this video is learn how to download um, a third-party FTP software and we're going to learn to use that. So there is another way that we can upload your files uh, to our servers. That program is called FileZilla. Um, that is a free program and you are certainly welcome to look for other FTP softwares to use, uh, even paid versions, but FileZilla is the, the program that we've chosen to give support for here at the Dyna Playback Facility. So why don't you open up a web browser and we are going to go ahead and look for FileZilla. We're going to Google download FileZilla and we'll hit enter and a um, couple different things will come up but go to FileZilla the free FTP solution. Okay so uh, here we are. You have two different links to choose from. Download FileZilla client or server. You want the client because that's what you are. You are a client trying to connect to a server. This is good for all platforms. So if you are on a PC or a Mac, this will work just dandy. Click download. And you will get this other little download button that will send you to a place called SoundForge and then your download should start. Here we go. And obviously it says, you know, problems with the download, please use this direct link. So if it doesn't automatically start downloading, then you could go ahead and hit that again. But um, this download has completed and we can click this drop down right here and we can either open this file right from our web browser or we can show it in the folder uh, where it was downloaded to which will be the downloads folder. I'm going to just say show it in the folder. Um, there's nothing wrong with running a file from the web browser. I just, I like to do it this way. I just like to see it. Uh, so here it is. And we're going to double click it. And it says, do you want to run this file? And yes, we do because we want to install the program. Now here's the thing. Um, you're going to need to pay close attention. FileZilla is a free program and like all free programs, it comes with a catch. It's going to try to install some other garbage onto your computer, um, ultimately because there's no such thing as, as free. Huh. There's always some little fine print that you need to follow. So let's, let's slowly go through this. Do not whiz through it. Hit next. And it's going to bring you to this screen where it wants to install something called My Search Dial. This is going to install a bunch of garbledy gook uh, in your web browser. So let's select Advanced Installation, which then gives us the option to uncheck all of these things. So if you uncheck one, it should uncheck them all. Okay, and now we're going to accept that. So there's our, our first pitfall that we sidestepped and then now it's going to try to install this thing called Optimizer Pro. By clicking accept you agree to install Optimizer Pro. Well we're going to decline that. Okay and uh, now this entire FileZilla kind of download thing is is completing Okay, so we just fast forwarded to the end. Um, that was a very slow download process for whatever reason. I just had a little bit of a snag in the interweb. So we're going to install this now. And um, this big window is going to come up. Or it might not. I'm not entirely certain why uh, when we went to install it this open back up but we're going to go ahead if you get a if you get a web browser window that opens up when you're trying to install this just close it general stuff so here is um filezilla client 3.8 oh setup i agree and uh, please select whether you wish to make software available to all users or just yourself i just go ahead and say anyone 
who uses the computer. Next. Um, just next. That's where it's going to install uh, itself into this folder. Hit next and hit install. Ta-da! Uh, we can go ahead and start FileZilla now. Uh, if we'd like, I'm actually going to uncheck that because we're going to declutter our screen, close some stuff up so we can so we can talk about it a little bit. Okay. I'm going to close this and we're going to close our web browser. Okay, so one thing you might want to consider doing is um, putting a shortcut out on the desktop. Right now I went to our Windows menu start programs and we're going to uh, ensure that FileZilla is installed and there it is. Uh, so you could access it every time by uh, going to the Windows start menu. Otherwise you could hold down your two mouse button while hovering over FileZilla and just kind of drag it on out here. Boom. And uh, do a create shortcut. And that's how we make shortcuts. In case you didn't know. So, here's how we do it. We've got my awesome show. We've got FileZilla. And we're going to double click on this. And it's going to say welcome. And we're going to be like, okay. Um, just a heads up, from time to time, when you open up FileZilla, you are going to get a window that says, hey, there's a new version available of FileZilla. Do you want to go ahead and download it? Um, FileZilla updates a lot. So I would say like four times out of five, probably don't bother. But every once in a blue moon, you might want to go ahead and just go through the update and the installation process will... Um, it should be pretty intuitive. If you got through this, you should probably be able to navigate the update yourself. If not, uh, you can call me, the Community Television Administrator, and I'll walk you through it. This is how we're going to connect to the Edina Playback Facilities uh, FTP server. Over here, uh, on the side of the screen, this is your computer that we're, we're connected to right here. So, um, if we click on Desktop up here, here, let's make this kind of big so we can we can see what's going on. Move this over. So you can kind of resize these windows here, up and down. Um, kind of see the contents of your computer. Slide this up and down. You will see that you can access every file and folder in your computer from this window here. What we really are looking for is just your program file, which we know resides on your desktop, which is why we clicked that. And if we look in the window below, you will see it's right here. It's my awesome show that I'm hovering over. We can resize these labels too, and we will see that title in all of its glory. This is what we're going to be uploading over here once we connect to it. Go to host. Um, usually, if we do FTP colon, you guys got to get this right, forward slash forward slash swtv.edinamn.gov. And then this is where you are going to enter your username. This is the same username that you would type into that login screen, that SWTV login screen um, in a web browser. Hit quick connect and you are going to see that you wind up in your folder. This is the folder that you would normally see if you were um, on the through through a web browser. It's just obviously very, very bare bones right now. There's a there's a program that uh, is already in here from a previous example that, that I made of this account. So now that we are connected, we're going to go ahead and go to the left side of the screen. And we're going to navigate to the show that we want to upload. Okay, We can do one of two things. We can either highlight it and drag it over with the one mouse button. You see that little plus right there? We're ready to just drop it and it's going to upload. Okay. Otherwise, uh, if we want to let that go, we can do something a little simpler, which is to hover over the show, highlight it, and hit our two... Well, don't, don't select the title. Huh? Hit our two mouse button and we will get this little contextual menu pop up and we can just hit upload. And right now you see that it is uploading to your folder 
on the Edina Playback Facility FTP server. Now this is going pretty fast. I would like to point out that I have a fast internet connection. So even though this is going to be a faster way to upload your program, more so than uploading your program through a web browser, chances are it's still not going to be uh, this fast. One thing I would like to point out is some people have had troubles um, with the host name. Uh, you, when, we, when we typed in this entire host, we used, if we hover over here, we get that little, that little tip box. Uh, supported protocols are FTP, SFTP, that kind of thing. We typed in that, that FTP. I'll just type it back in right here just so you can see what it what it looks like. Um, some of you might need to use something called SFTP. Okay, so if if after typing in FTP SWTV eDynamN.gov and you hit and your credentials and then you hit quick connect, if it's just staring at you blankly and it's not connecting to anything, why don't you go back here and try SW uh, SFTP? You will probably get some sort of warning or notification about, um, hey, I can't identify this server certificate. Are you sure you want to do this? Uh, you do want to do that. So anyways, your your file is out here now. Um, if you look at the file size, it's this uh, 1.6 gig is what that means. And it is the exact same as it is over on your desktop. So we know the thing completed. Now that you're done, go up to this little red X. And we're going to disconnect. And we can go to this red X. And we can close it out. And rest assured, your file found me. And I will program your show uh, according to that, that program schedule. So thank you very much for watching this video.